In this video, I'm going to go over some back anatomy in Spanish. So I originally recorded this video a couple months ago when I was traveling in Medellin, Colombia, but then the audio wasn't great for a few different reasons, so I'm going to try it again. Now I'm just getting over a cold, so my voice will sound a little different, but at least the microphone is better. All right, so various anatomical terms related to the back, and we'll kind of work our way through those. And I'm going to say each one in English and then give you a chance to think about it. And then I'll say it in Spanish a couple of times. And ideally, you repeat it out loud because you really got to get your mouth moving if you want to learn this stuff well. All right. So the first term, as you might guess, is back. How do you say back in Spanish? La espalda. La espalda. And I'm going to put the word the in front of each term because most of the time in Spanish you use the word the in front of body parts. So you want to figure out whether to say el or la or sometimes los or las. All right. So the next term is upper back. La espalda alta. La espalda alta. So notice I just put an adjective on it um, at the end. So we're going to do the same thing for the next two terms. So the next one is mid back or middle back. La espalda media. La espalda media. Lower back or low back. La espalda baja. La espalda baja. Okay, so here's another way to say low back, and this word also means waist. La cintura. La cintura. The next term is vertebral column. So, or spine, but this, this phrase will sound like vertebral column. La columna vertebral. La columna vertebral. Vertebrae or vertebrae. Uh, that's actually the correct pronunciation is vertebrae, but hardly anyone says it like that. But anyway, this is plural of for the bones in the back. Vertebra. Vertebrae. <laughs> Las vertebras. Las vertebras. And of course, if you wanted to make that singular, you could change it to la vertebra or una vertebra. All right, so next we're going to do some different parts of the spine. So next is lumbar spine. La columna. Lumbar. La columna lumbar. So using a similar pattern, see if you can figure out how to say thoracic spine, even though this word's kind of uncommon. So, but anyway, thoracic spine. La columna thoracica. La columna thoracica. When I said it was uncommon, I just mean that you don't hear it that much, um, which might be related to the fact that it's kind of borderline medical jargon. So in English or Spanish, people often don't know the word thoracic, right? Um, so with any of these words that are kind of borderline jargon, you know, you could... Uh, in my experience, we're pretty bad at avoiding medical jargon <laughs> when we talk to patients um, as providers. 
Um, so just kind of a reminder, like if you're using those borderline jargon words, just kind of maybe explain it a little bit or point at it or something, or just use some alternative phrase if you want to. All right, so the next one is cervical spine. So using a similar pattern to the previous two. La columna cervical. La columna cervical. All right, the next one is shoulder blade. So since that's kind of part of the back, how do you say shoulder blade? El homoplato. El homoplato. And I think that one is more common overall, but there's another way to say it, which is a cognate, so it sounds similar to the English word for scapula, which is la escapula. La escapula. But I put the other one in first because I think it's more common overall. All right, next word is ribs. How do you say ribs? Las costillas. Las costillas. Not to be confused with cosquillas, <laughs> which is like if somebody's ticklish, you say, tiene cosquillas. Um, anyway, las costillas. All right, so the next one is muscles. Since there's a lot of muscles in the back, how do you say muscles? Los músculos. Los músculos. So for the next phrase, we're going to put some things together that we learned. So the next phrase is low back muscles. So what you want to say is the muscles of the low back using both of those phrases that we learned. Los músculos de la espalda baja. Los músculos de la espalda baja. And similarly, you could change that to músculos de la espalda alta o la espalda media. But that's just a little example of how you're putting these together to make a slightly longer phrase if you were telling your patient about the muscles in the lower back and or having spasms or something. <laughs> Who knows? All right. So I've got a playlist here that goes over a bunch of other anatomy videos, a variety of different body areas and so forth. Um, so you can check that out if you want to learn some more anatomy. It's really useful. And then here's one that goes over some really high yield basic Spanish, like beginner Spanish stuff, like pronunciation and really, um, really common vocabulary and other things. And I've got some other resources below if you want to check out the description and whatnot. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.